Hello friends! How's it going today guys? Hope everything's good. Hope you're having a good, safe, nice, wonderful day today. So today we got a Kodak mobile film scanner and we're going to be scanning some 35mm negatives and testing and comparing to an Epson V550 flatbed scanner and seeing what the difference is. First thing you're going to need to do before scanning film on this is you're going to have to download the app. And so it's super easy, just go right into the App Store, download the Kodak Mobile Film Scanner app. It should be the first one that pops up. It's super easy to find, and it's free, so there you go. So right when you first download the app, this is going to be the first screen that pops up right here. And you're going to get to choose between color negative, color positive, or black and white negatives. And I'm just scanning regular C41 35mm film, so I'm going to be doing color negative. Let's bust into this thing, let's get it going. <laughs> So I got the photos side by side now, I'm just doing some uh, visual comparisons here. And yeah, it's pretty obvious that the flatbed scanner is light years better than the mobile scanner. I'm sorry to say, I really don't want to talk badly on it, but uh, I kinda have to. Compared to the flatbed, the mobile scans kinda suck, I'm sorry. <laughs> If you're a photographer that solely just wants to put your 35mm photos on Instagram, I would say go for it. This is a pretty decent scanner if you're only using it for something like that. But I would say anything other than just to post to Instagram, I would go ahead and just spend your money on a decent scanner. Save that 40 bucks to go towards, you know, really nice scanner that you know is reliable and it's going to work for you and one that can scan 120 photos or 4x5 or bleh, you know, one that scans other than just 35 millimeter. I will say one thing that's awesome about having my Epson flatbed scanner is that I can also scan artwork as well. So any just documents, artwork, drawings, anything but I mean I will say like the mobile scanner isn't bad like it's pretty cool it's I got mine as a Christmas gift so it's kind of cool just to have both and get to mess around with it I'll go ahead and say this to end the video if you're trying to save a lot of money and if you don't really do much other than just post your photos to Instagram the Kodak mobile film scanner is for you but if you are really trying to step your game up and if you're wanting to shoot other formats other than just 35 millimeter and maybe you know get your photos printed or use them for anything I would highly recommend any of the Epson scanners I'm not too knowledgeable on how different they all are I have a V550 photo and I've had it for about a year now and I love it. I have such a good time scanning photos on it. They turn out beautiful. Very happy about them. So basically yeah, that's the gist of this video. Uh, I hope this was educational. I hope you get, I hope you can, um, 
I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> I hope this helps you decide what you want to get in terms of scanners. You might even want to check out the mobile scanner for yourself and see if you can make it work. That's going to be it, guys. If you tuned into this one, thank you. I appreciate you immensely. You know, let me know what you think. Thanks again for tuning in, and I will see you again soon with the next video. Take care. Much love. Have a good day.